President Biden says the Texas abortion law is an un-American vigilante system. The Supreme Court has refused to stop the new regulations, and that's intensifying Democratic efforts to change the makeup of the high court and get rid of the Senate filibuster. White House correspondent Peter Ducey has the latest on that tonight. I have been, continue to be, a strong supporter of Roe v. Wade. And before Roe v. Wade is challenged in front of the Supreme Court, President Biden is worried because they just upheld a Texas law restricting abortions. The most pernicious thing about the Texas law is sort of creates a vigilante system where people get rewards to go out to, anyway. And it just seems, I know this sounds ridiculous, almost un-American. Progressives have had it. AOC tweets, Republicans promised to overturn Roe v. Wade, and they have. Democrats can either abolish the filibuster and expand the court or do nothing. Some progressives have already outlined how they'd do it. We undo the damage the Republicans have done by restoring balance. And we do it by passing the Judiciary Act of 2021 to add four seats to the court to create a 13-member Supreme Court. The president describes himself as a student of history and has historically been against expanding the court like when FDR tried. He violated no law. He was legalistically absolutely correct, but it was a bonehead idea. But as president, he has ordered a commission of experts to brief him on the pros and cons of court packing, and his mind is open. The president doesn't have any new thoughts on the structure of the court. He's waiting for the conclusion of this report, looks forward to reviewing it, uh, seeing uh, where uh, they come out. If the president decides he wants to add four spots to the court and fill them with progressives, he's going to have to do it while Democrats control Congress, which could make the fight ahead of the upcoming midterms the equivalent of a quadruple Kavanaugh. Mike? Peter Ducey in the White House briefing room. Peter, thanks a lot.